tired of trying to teach your canine new tricks? A group of Tasmanian dog lovers is trying something out of left field. Dance steps for dogs. Dog dancing is growing in popularity around the world and this weekend Tasmania is hosting its first classes. Like any dance, there are the rhythmically challenged, the questionable fashions and loads of enthusiasm. The idea, I think, is just to have fun with your dog. Um, it's basically tricks and movement choreographed to music. The dog dancing craze has been sweeping the world. Official competitions started in Australia last year. Well, probably the basis freestyle is the leg weaving, the left hand spin, the right hand spin, and the backing up. Um, and you can interpret it, you know, it's based on interpretation. These are beginners. At their best, dancing dogs and their handlers can bust some serious moves. Props like hoops are welcome. <laughs> Some people do very extensive um, things like, say, a coffin, and they have the uh, music which is, you know, tap, 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 and the dog jumps out of the coffin and things like that. So you, you can go a long way dramatically <laughs> or theatrically. Costumes are OK for practice sessions. For competitions, the dogs are limited to fancy scarves and collars. Yeah, a bit of bling is good, but not too over the top because there's still a dignity for the dog. Devotees say dog dancing has enormous benefits. The people love the music and we truly believe that the dogs actually can feel the rhythm as well. But they like the fact that the humans are, are relaxed and working with rhythm. And they just love doing lots of tricks and of course as you've seen they get paid very well for doing it. Any slaves to the rhythm wanting to strut their stuff better get cracking. The next official competition in Victoria is only a month away. Michael Lockerbie, ABC News.